Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. I'm Tara, in case you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And um, what is it today is the, uh, well for me it is Monday, which is January 2nd. So for you guys, it's the 5th. <laughs> I was starting to think of where I was in my week because I'm filming ahead. So anyway, so today we're going to make some of these cute little miniature faux envelopes. Um, we're not going to be sealing them down as an envelope. We're going to be filling them up with pretty ephemera and they're going to be glued to the page in our journal and look adorable. I think they're so cute. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So what I have with me is some 8x8 eight eight paper. Now you can use anything as long as it's a square. You could use a 6x6. Six six. I believe, I'm not sure what size this is. I don't think it was 8x8. Eight eight. Maybe it was. Maybe it is. But um, you can, I cut these down from 12x12s 12 12 and copy size paper, 8.5 by 11. So just cut yourself a square, okay? And it can be 7x7, seven 9x9. Seven, nine nine. I want these to fit on my page. My pages in my journals are usually around, uh, what, 5.5 by, um, uh, what is it, 8.5. So, you know, I've got that I'm looking at. So that's why this is like the perfect size right here, okay? So let's get started on this. And you're going to need some glue. You're going to need your scissors. Um, I did some gluing last night on this board, and I left quite a bit of glue here. <laughs> I just realized I didn't clean it up. Um, you're going to need your scissors. You're going to need your favorite glue. I use our glitter glue. Um, you can also use tacky glue, any PVA glue. Um, and then we're going to have stuff to decorate with. Uh, if you want to use your bone folder... Or you can use, or you can use your scissors, your scissor handles. Uh, I'm looking here, and this thing is squeaking. I'm like, why is this thing making noise? My little, I have like this lazy Susan that holds all of my tools and stuff, and I was turning it, and I think it's rubbing against something because it's squeaking. Anyway, um, here it is. I was looking for my bone folder. So yeah, let's get started and get going on these. We did these yesterday, and I had mentioned in the video that I thought it'd be fun to do what I did here. So I wanted to bring these along. And um, oh, this is the one I, I did after I got off of camera. I thought that one turned out really pretty. I ended up getting to use this. I don't know what project I was working on the other day, and I was like, oh, I went, was it this one? I don't remember if it was. <laughs> it's been a few days. But anyway, I ended up using this one. So I was excited I got to use that. Um, and this will probably end up being like a topper or something to decorate a journal cover. So, all right, guys, if you have an envelope like maker, that's awesome. I don't. So I'm going to be doing this by hand and I'm good with that. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this, blue, this dark charcoal color first. And this is that satiny paper that I had talked about. I get at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so... All we're going to do is, I'm eyeballing, if you want to, you can measure. I'm just taking this tip to tip and trying to hit in the middle here, okay? Close to the middle for myself. And then we're going to fold this down. And we're going to fold this side down. And I know it's probably not going to be perfect because I'm not measuring it and all that, but it's okay. And I'm just folding this up. And I'm going to bring this down mm, just a hair. Okay. And then I'm going to, oops, I did that crooked. Let me get that a little more even. Okay. I don't even know if I, there we go. There we go. That's better. And then I'm going to bring the top down and I'm going to go ahead and fold it so it has a fold line, but we're going to reopen it and not use it, like I said, as an envelope. But I want the fold line to be there so, you can, so it looks like it's an envelope. Okay? There. Okay. So there's our envelope. And like I said, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter. Because we're going to be using this as basically a setting piece for all of our decorations. Okay? I'm just going to 
gonna run some glue. Probably should just run it on this side. Can you tell I don't make envelopes very often? Yes, I don't. And I want to, and I actually, I think I mentioned it to you guys the other day, I wanna do possibly a series and make some envelopes. I thought it'd be kind of fun um, to do some, so we'll see. All right, so now this is down. Let's move on. Oh, you know what I am going to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and trim. And I think I'm going to trim this corner out here. Okay, did you see what I did there? I just brought that in and trimmed. That little tiny bit off that's not, it's like an overlap there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was going to check real quick. I actually think I must have used, yeah, I must have used 6x6 six six for this one. Because this one's definitely broader. Actually, this is going to be too big for me. I'm going to trim these down a little bit. So, um didn't realize the 8x8 was going to be quite too big for me, and I don't know why I didn't think about it, but it is. I'm looking here real quick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my sheets of paper, and I am just going to trim off. Okay, I'm going to get my little thing out here so it lays nice and even, and I'm just going to do like an inch off okay on each side and that way should I do six by six yeah I think I will I'm gonna do two inches so I'm gonna do these six by six okay because that will definitely be better for me I don't know why I was thinking I did it eight by eight Use those as scraps. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Let's take these down real quick. So if your journals are about the same size as mine and in width on your page, you're probably going to want to do 6 by 6 as well. Because you don't want them being too wide, right? I only have a couple more here, a few more pieces of paper. I had just, I had actually pre-cut them thinking that I was doing them right and now I'm gonna have to recut. I was like, oh, I don't wanna have to cut on camera and this way, you know, you guys didn't have to be bored watching me cut my paper. Now I ended up having to watch anyway, I'm sorry. I'm kind of bummed about that one because I wanted to use it with um, this here because it has the black and I thought that'd be cute, but. I guess I can use it on this one. This has black too. Because I didn't really have any paper uh, with blue on it. So that's why I was thinking the black would look good. Okay. okay. I guess I had a few more than that. Sorry. Okay. All right. So how's everybody's year going so far? We are only in the, oops, wait, I'm gonna do it. We're only in our second, well, you guys are in your fifth day. I hope that, I hope that things are running along smoothly for everybody. I'm gonna do these two together. I've, uh, like I said earlier, this is, this is actually Monday, so it's the second for me when I'm filming this. And Courtney and I just got done watching a really good movie. He had to stay home again because of the rain. It's been raining so much in Arizona. I mean, for us to, you know, get enough rain that he has to actually stay home. I don't know how I cut that unevenly, but I sure did. Um, yeah. So he has stayed home again. And... 
he went to the room to have his Bible study time. And I said, I'll make my video while you're doing that, and then I'll make dinner. So, yeah. But we just watched the best movie, you guys, um, if you haven't seen it. And I'm not, like, a football, you know, aficionado or anything. I was, I grew up in a football house because my dad loved football and basketball. But, um... I just watched that movie, American Underdog. Courtney wanted to see it, and I wasn't sure, and I was just like, okay, I'll just go along for the ride, you know. And, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I saw it. It was very good. I ended, and I was crying, and I was rejoicing. <laughs> I was like, oh, what a good movie, and what a good story, and praise God, you know. It was good. It really was. So if you guys have the chance to see it, and you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to see it or not. You should see it. Seriously. You should see it. Because it's worth it. Look how bad that one is. Oh, my goodness. I really, really folded that one bad. Now, see, on my first one, I kind of measured. And I'm thinking I should do that again. I, I didn't measure, measure, but I kind of did. This is really off. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever had them. <laughs> Look at that. That is really up. It's kind of a good thing this is going to be up. And you can't really, you know, see it as much. But man, I really folded that bad. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh, well. You guys get to see my good, my bad, and the ugly in my crafting. It's true. Y'all do. I'm going to trim this little, these little corners off here before I glue it down. I don't like the way they look showing on the outside. That's all. You don't have to trim them off if you don't want. I just like them cornered. But anyway, yeah, what a story of, you know, triumph and victory and all of that. It was, oh, it was really good. It was really good. It wasn't just a, it was definitely not a sports movie. I mean, that was, you know, sports was in it, of course, but it was really about his, how he came to know Christ and how he um, came to meet his wife and what they went through to become a family. Um, wow. Yeah. Blessing. Major blessing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and just go with it. It's going to be covered anyway, right? So tell me it's going to be all right, you guys. <laughs> I really messed up on the, on the uh, thing. Yeah, my glue's really coming out now. Earlier, it wasn't coming out at all. That's funny. Typical. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's that one. Poor little thing. Okay, so here's how I measured it the other day. And I just took my... Um, I don't know if I can get to it. I've got my coffee over here, and I'm trying to get to a ruler out of my drawer. I've got my Tim Holtz. I think this is Tim Holtz ruler. And, uh, oh no, it's a Ludwig Precision. Sorry. But anyway, it tells me the center point. So I'm going to use it because I need that point to be correct. So let's see here. Okay. Um, gee, whistle sticks. There we go. Okay. So we're at four. I definitely need to move this over. A little bit. What should it be? Four and a quarter? Because the paper's... There we go. Four and a quarter. Okay. So here's my center point. I'm just going to do a little tiny dot so I can see it. And hopefully the paper was cut correctly and it will work. Okay. I even stood up so I could really see. So I'm taking both the corners and I'm hitting that dot. Okay. That... Oopsie. Here. I'm going to fold. That should bring it to the right spot. This paper is really thick. It's that haberdashery paper. I love it so much, but it is really thick. Okay, it's looking like it's better this time. It's still a little off. That's weird, right? I mean, it's okay, but it's, it's off a little bit. Can you guys see? See it? Just slightly. You can kind of tell more down here at the base where you've got this, these ends showing up here. 
kind of makes me want to tuck it in that way and have that on the outside. Let's see what that looks like. Envelopes don't look like that, right? Oh, well. I could cut it off, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just being way too uh, particular about that. So, all right. Just wear my glue. Mostly, I'm just kind of looking forward to decorating these. That's the whole fun. I'm just making these little envelopes. Like I said, they're just a base for the actual decorations. Okay, I'm going to fold this down. So I have that little crease. Yeah, it definitely... Um, Helped a little bit, but not a whole lot on folding that. I don't know. I guess I'm I'm off on my cut or something. Obviously. Well, praise the Lord. It's okay. I hope it makes you guys feel better to know that you're not the only ones who are off on your your cut. <laughs> so so are we oftentimes. Okay. I really want this one to work. Let's see, four and a quarter. Yep. Maybe I just went up too high on my little dot. Maybe that's it. I don't know. We'll see, right? So, what have you guys been doing this week? Have you done any after Christmas shopping? I I did go look at our Walmart. Uh, now, that one looks better. Maybe that was the problem. It's still a little bit off, but not nearly as bad. Um, yeah, I went to our Walmart here in Coolidge, and they didn't really have anything I wanted, you know, left over. I almost got some ribbon. Um... And then I changed my mind and I decided not to because it just, I forgot to do this on the other ones. Huh? It just wasn't quite, you know, I was just kind of getting it because it was cheap. And I decided I have enough lace and enough trim and ribbon. And if I'm going to get some, it better be because I really want it. Not just because it's on a good sale. <laughs> so yeah, I did not get it. Now we're going to fold. I took all of my, today's the second, like I said, I took all of my um, decorations down this morning. Had a really, really good time um, in prayer this morning and worship. And, uh, and then I recorded our... Uh, devotion for tomorrow which was actually I guess that was Tuesday Tuesday's devotion um, and then I got to cleaning up and organizing and believe it or not I was able to make enough space in my little hallway and if you guys have ever watched my um, crafting area video I have that little hallway that goes down to my left over here and it's got almost all of my stuff in it well, I cleaned that all out, and so I was really excited about that because it needed done so bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, this is one of my papers, and I'm not sure because one of them cut unevenly, so we'll see. We shall see. But, yeah, I felt like I accomplished something. I went through my box. Check this out, you guys. I went through my box of all of, I had that, I don't think I showed it to you guys because it was just embarrassing, but <laughs> I had a huge box that was full of like all the um, Amazon envelopes and all the cereal boxes and stuff like that that I've saved. And uh, so I went through all of that and I took my printer box that I just got 
and emptied it out, threw away all the styrofoam and all the stuff that I didn't need that was in there. And then I took that box and put all of my, um, my shipping paper, you know, the shipping paper we all love to save, the brown. Okay, I saved a bunch of that, so I took all of that and put that in there, and then I put all of my Amazon envelopes in there. And then I took my computer box and I did the same thing. I went, but I went through and took out all of my cereal and, and cracker boxes and any boxes I've saved to make covers with because I like to use boxes for my covers. So yeah, so that's all organized and they were in my hallway there in that little hallway, just total wreck. And so now I was able, I made enough room that I was able to move um, my shelving units, not the main ones I have, but like my smaller shelves down and I was able to put some of my stuff that's been piled up. As you walk down that hallway, you could barely get through. Um, now you can get through again. Yay. And I swept and all of that good stuff, took out the trash, cleaned everything up. So it was all nice and tidy. I was very, very excited <laughs> because it needed done for a really long time. So yeah, that was my morning. And then my honey got up and we watched television and hung out and did the movie thing. And now here I am with y'all. So it's been a good, productive day, praise God. I like days like that, you know. Now this one, I didn't fold up quite high enough, I think. Oh, wait, you know what I did? Oh gosh, you guys, Tara, Renee, I folded it the wrong way. Duh. Ugh, Tara. There are times when you, your girl here, she does stuff. And as I was doing it, I was thinking, am I folding this back up the right way? No, you are not. Okay, I have to look at it really quick. There we go, that's what's wrong. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. Can you tell I just really wanna to get to the decorating part? I do, that's kind of what's wrong. I'm more thinking about that right now than anything. Isn't that funny? Remember there was a time when I was like, I'm nervous to decorate with you guys. And now I'm like, oh, let's get to that part. Let's get to the fun. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun um, with our mask make. After I got off camera, I decorated a bunch of those. And I think, well, I put, yeah, I posted them on our Facebook group because I was loving having, I was having such a good time with those. They're fun. Okay, so. I did not fold this one down, and this is the one that came out so crooked. Shucks. Looks like I'm really, that's bugging me. That's really crooked. Here, I'm gonna glue that little dot down there. These are, you know, nothing difficult and nothing that all of us haven't seen done a bunch of times over. But I just thought, you know, it would be kind of fun to decorate them up and get them pretty for some stuff and so yeah i've let me get a sip of my coffee okay so yeah i was thinking oh isn't she pretty on there look at that she's gorgeous okay i have Here's my little people, of course. Now I have some flowers and stuff, and I really liked how, oh, that one's nice. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, I think I might use that. That's a pretty one. Um, yeah, I like the way this one, this one came out with the flowers and the butterfly and stuff, so I was thinking to do that with this. And I really like that purple, and that goes nicely with the, yeah think so. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the glue here. And I think I'll kind of do it off to the side a little bit. Okay. Like 
that. And remember, these are going to go on your page. They're they're going to be. Let me get a. Oh, I was looking here to see if I have a page that would show you about. Okay, here we go. This is about the right size. Yeah. So it's going to be like that. Okay, on your journal page. Okay. So here, so you can see. Okay. So they look really cute. Let me see. Hmm. Let's look in here real quick. Nope. I want something very girly. Those are not it. You know what? Actually, I might have a couple of smaller... Oh, these are cute. Let's cut one of these out. These are little Tina's umbrellas. I think this would look cute on here if I can cut it out right. It's very tiny. I think I actually have these cut out somewhere, but this one's kind of a perfect color, you know? So I'm going to try to make this one work. This is the part that's hard right here. There we go. Yeah, so anyway, um, gosh, that movie left an impression on me. It was very... And plus then also Zachary Levi played Kurt Warner, and I, uh, I've i always admired him. He's he's a brother in Christ, and he's a, he's a good actor, he's a good guy, and he's a singer as well so for me that you know if somebody is a singer I, I tend to be drawn to them and then also a brother in, in the Lord you know and he played Kurt Warner did a really great job the gal that played Brenda his wife did an excellent job um, oh and then the little boy who plays his stepson uh, he was his name is Zach in real life and he was blind and the little boy in the movie um, who played him is actually blind as well. What an excellent job that little guy did. He really, really did. And when you look up Kurt Warner and Brenda Warner's son, um, he is, he looks so much like the little guy that played him. It was a, incredible. It was just, they did a really, really good job at casting and all of that. So yeah, it was good. And then even Dennis Quaid was in it. Um, Adam Baldwin, you know, so it was a good lineup, a good bunch of stars, you know, who really know how to do justice to a movie, and yeah, it was good, guys. If you get a chance to see it, you should see it. I won't, of course, there's not any giving it away. I mean, it's his true life story, so it's been online. You can read his story, but, you know, we all know what happens pretty much if you know who Kurt Warner is, you know. But it's just cool to see it on the screen. Okay, this is the hard part. This little nick right here is really hard. I don't use tiny scissors much, so I know some of you are probably like, get some smaller scissors. But I, I use these big old honking scissors for the most part. I do have one other pair I use to do fussy cutting with. It's a little bit smaller, but not by much. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's throw away this trash. Sorry you had to sit and watch me do the umbrella. Now I have to find out how to use the umbrella because I put you guys through all that. <laughs> He'll go somewhere. He'll go somewhere here. Okay. And then I was looking because I have other sized. We could do like a double, you know. Let's see. I have some others of those. That one's too red. I don't want that one. And then, of course, I have, oh, look, I had this bigger one I could have used. That's kind of too big, huh? Let's see here. I'm just looking. I have these tiny purple flowers. Those are pretty. Those would be cute. And then a pink one. Let's see. Yeah, I want this one to be pretty and foo-foo-ish, kind of. 
you know. These are flowers that I actually did. Um, <laughs> I cut them out from a piece of a, an, a six by six I, a pad I have. I also have it in 12 by 12. And I, oh, here's a nice, possibly. But I cut them out and I fussy cut these huge pages, you know, compared to, I mean, it wasn't, they weren't meant to be fussy cuts, but I really liked the flowers like these. And so I decided to cut them out. I was going to say, um, Valerie, when she came over and I, I actually gave her some of those 12 by 12s. Valerie, if you watch this, you have these, you could fussy cut these, but they came from, I'm going to not use these. They came from a kit or from that, from that 12 by 12 pad. And then this, I guess, six by six pad I had that was, yeah, smaller. And I think I'm going to use this one here. Let's see. Oh, about right there. Just build my own kind of little bouquet on the top there. And then, do we want people or do we want like a, a lady's face, like a picture? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, she's kind of perfect. Kind of perfect for this. So I'm thinking maybe if I, if I bring her in just a little bit, she's just going to go on the front. Um, let's see, I'm going to do a little distress here. She's a little bit big, that's why I'm thinking maybe I'll bring this down just a little bit. Cut a little bit of it off. Just so I have her face, mostly. Okay. She just kind of looks perfect with that. And then... Here's the one I want. This is the one I wanted to use, right? I think. There's that one. I had one more. What'd I do with it? Hmm. Here it is. I'm gonna look and see. I don't think. Actually, that might not be bad. I know this one's geared more in this pink and everything but this one's it's kind of pretty too I'm not using that purple butterfly oh my boots that's one I was thinking of table move the wrong way and I'm bumping into it. Oh, come on now. Okay. We have those little boots of Miss Tina's and little bows and all that good stuff. But these all just would really, let's see. It's too bright. This one would be better. Yeah. That is more I'm back in my kind of my romantic, more elegant, or my grungy. That's kind of where my head is right now with all of my my goodies. I'm like, ugh, I'm so tired of, you know, the holiday thing. And I'm wondering, should I do? I want to balance out this picture here. And there's gonna, we're gonna put like the reason we're have it's like an envelope, and then you'll stuff it with like your journal cards or your tags or whatever. You know, so we're just, this is basically an envelope pocket, okay? What I was thinking was that I could kind of build a little, 
collage over here of some sort with these little pieces or next to her. You know what I mean? Hope that makes sense. I'm trying to fit it all in here. Or do we want to use the smaller one here? Technically it's not smaller, but no, I like this one here. There we go. Okay. And I'm determined to use this this umbrella parasol whatever you want to call it I'm going to go ahead and glue her down so that I'm not playing with this anymore let me just darken this back here So I'm going to distress this before I forget. Gosh, you guys, I had so many boxes and envelopes and stuff that I've saved. I thought, you know what, I'm going to quit collecting because I have saved enough, honestly, for right now, you know, until I've used some more. Because there was a ton when I pulled them out. I really just didn't realize how many I had saved. This. It was pretty funny. I was like, okay, girl. It's been, you know, we're doing the journaling for over a year and a half now. Um, yeah. So, it'll be, oh my gosh, it'll be a year in July. So, yeah, it's been a year and a half. And it's not very long compared to some of you, I know. But, um... Yeah, it's like, oh my goodness, I have saved so much stuff. Oh, and I saw the funniest post yesterday. One of the ladies, I can't remember which one of my groups it was on, but she was like, I am not going to do, I'm not making a resolution to be a neater crafter this year. I am a crafter. I am not going to apologize for that, for the messiness. It just shows that I'm enjoying my art, you know. And she said, anybody out there who agrees with me, post a non-edited picture of, or an, what did she say? I don't think she said edited. Well, anyway, an unedited picture of your craft area, you know? Oh my goodness, you guys, there were some really cool pictures. <laughs> there were some people out there that have an awesome crafting area. I was so jelly on some of them. I was like, oh, I wish I had that space. Oh my goodness. Gee, whistle sticks, these ladies have got some space. Yeah, it was cool. I'm going to put these flowers at the base of her picture. Just because, I don't know, I kind of like them there. Okay. And. I am going to have that on that side, I think. And then I think I'm going to do, let's see, um, you know, I have, ugh, I finally bought this. I haven't used it. I haven't even pulled it out and shown it to you guys. All of you have probably seen it a million times over. The, um, that one kit. I can't think of what it's called now, but I ordered it. I love that picture. I think she's so pretty. But I ordered it, and I haven't used it at all. I'm like, hmm, is there anything in here fun? Because I got it during uh, our working on, you know, Christmas and stuff is when it came. And I just have not had the opportunity to even put it in, into play. So it's just in here. It's very cute, though. Very cool. Actually, this would be pretty. I love butterflies. 
And then this little, let's see. <laughs> Me and my, my umbrella. I'm like, I'm going to use this. I have no idea if I'm going to actually use it, but it's cute, right? Looks kind of cute. Hmm. New. No. Are you guys getting tired of watching me do this umbrella? I am too. So. I don't know what else is in here. Let's see. There's little stuff on the bottom. Let me look. And we have a bird. He could fly in. We could do the bird instead of the... Hmm. Oh, goodness. These are so cute. I honestly haven't really even looked through this whole thing to see what's in here. Aw, it's an envelope. That's sweet. Yeah. I think I will probably go ahead and not use that because I, I might use this little guy though. Let me see. What does this say? I'm pulling out my scriptures. Oh, that's pretty. Little decorative stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let go and let God. Show of hands, how many of us need to do that? I know I do. I am kind of a controlling person at times, at least. I found myself to be guilty of that. I don't I don't want to be. I just <laughs> tend to be. Okay, let's see. I was thinking that that would look pretty. I just want little, you know, pretties. And then when I do the, um, I'm not sure what journal cards or whatever I'll do, they're going to decorate the inside. You know, they'll be to pull out. And this part, I just, I'm using these two because I kind of want them to balance out everything, you know. And these are going to be flat, so you can actually, you know, these aren't going to be closable, you know. So you can actually glue them down over into that area and it's not going to hurt. So I'm gonna glue this one here and wait, let me just in case that shows. Darken just a little bit. Okay. this one. Let me see. I don't want to totally cover up the flower. Huh. How that would, yeah, I kind of like that right there. So when I do this, this is going to kind of lock this open you know, a little bit. I'm just kind of tucking it underneath the corner there, that flower. Yeah, it's going to lock open the envelope, which I'm good with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down on the corner over here. Oh, it just figures I'm, my glue stick has run out. <laughs> oh boy. Ow! I put my finger right in that hot glue. Girls, Things not to do while crafting. Yes. 
Watch Tara's channel to see what not to do while crafting. I've heard Tina say that, and now I'm like, yeah, me too. Me too. I want this little guy used, that, that umbrella. Now, this one, I think I'm going to put... I just want them accenting to kind of, I don't know, go with her because she's so feminine and pretty. And No. <laughs> you guys, I may have cut that out with no reason. No rhyme or reason. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Can we, uh, can we get this right? I don't know, right there. Maybe that right there. No. How about there? Okay, I'm going to put... I'm going to put this here. Just get my glue. Shh, tippy honey. So, oh, my neighbors, of all things, their dog, they got rid of the German Shepherd they had that was abused. Um, well, he got their dog, Nova, pregnant. And so she came over this morning. She's a sweet girl, the girl that lives there. And she came over and she said, I just wanted to let you know that our dog, Nova, had puppies, and so if you hear um, crying, it's the puppies. <laughs> she had eight puppies. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, you know, and I congratulated her, but in my head, I'm kind of thinking, oh, that's really all you needed, right, is more dogs. You just got rid of that other one that you were having so much trouble with, the boy, and uh, yeah. So, you're praying for... Genesis and Parker and their puppies. I'll be praying for them because I know that was kind of a tough uh, situation over there. And now there's more of them. So, anyways, I'm just doing a little gold highlight here on my boot. And I'm wondering, should I stick the boot? Let's see. Put the boot over here. That's kind of cute. Maybe that's what I should do. Put the little umbrella over up on this thing. I didn't think about that. Let's look at it. I'm going to stand up so I can see. What time is it? Oh, good. We're okay. What do you guys think? Let's see. I'm bringing it in a little closer so you can see it. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of just, you know, want it to be very girly. Hmm. I really like that. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Just debating. If you're still with me, thank you. <laughs> I know. I know sometimes I feel like something's missing off of this flower, like... It needs to, you know, say something else. Where's my basket with all my words? And my little bag, I mean. Okay. Just glancing in here really quick. These are pink. They go on there. Cherished. I just kind of feel like it's not quite enough up at the top, like something's missing, you know? Even with the butterfly, it's still not quite there. Cherished. 
and I do think I'm going to put the boot here. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to find a place for the umbrella. I, I like the theme uh, that it sets, like the look, but it doesn't really seem to quite fit on the piece for me. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of like, eh. I don't know if I will or not. I'm going to just do this across the flower. I already did that little guy down. Okay. So now the only thing left is this little guy here. They get so loud sometimes. It's him. He slams that door. Oh, wait. That might work. Yeah. See? If you keep playing with stuff... Tina's right. You just keep playing with it. Eventually, you will... Shush now! Tippers. Eventually, you'll get, you know, a spot where it looks good. My dog is startling me over here barking. Oh, please stop. Okay? Stop. <laughs> she... She's facing the living room like she's the big boss. She's going to tell everybody off. She's about this big, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. So there's one, guys. And I hope you like them. I did not get to do any more, but I will. This is the one I did before. I do, you know what? I am going to put a little bit of sparkle onto my little butterfly like I love to do. I don't know. For me, sparkle tends to make everything look a little better. I'm wondering, should I use the black? I think I'll use the pink. If I can get it out of here. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to sit that right on him. Grab my tweezers. That I love so much, Miss Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Getting better with them, too. Okay. Yeah, that does it for me, the little sparkle up at the top. Because we have the sparkle down here, you know. So I'm going to pull back a little bit and let you guys see. What do you think? So this will go inside, and then, like, if I can find real quick just something hmm, let's see here I don't know if I even have any tags or anything I don't think I do yeah I don't really um, but you know s stuff will go inside and so it's just a really full beautiful little piece a little pocket for you to put into your journal let me grab that piece of paper and so there we go. And this, because it's got that, this will kind of hang out of the side of the book. And yeah, it looks cute, right? I hope you like it. I like it a lot. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful afternoon. Get some crafting done. And God bless you. I love you. Bye.